All right, so step one is the center. And the center, ooh, we got cold water. <laughs> we get the wheel going, get our hands wet. And what you're actually doing is pushing with these palms here. And already, immediately, I'm <laughs> using my leg as a support. And it's really, I call this my centering hand. Because see, the wheel is going this way. Mm -hmm. And so I'm pushing against the force. This hand is there, but, it, but this is the real important strength right here. So I'm going to actually push up. I'm, I'm pulling it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and while I'm, while I'm pushing it to the center. I'm pushing down with this hand. And, and when you watch a person throwing the wheel, you cannot see the amount of strength or, or the amount of uh, push. Mm -hmm. so, so what I don't want to do is this. I want to make sure I make my hands stay still. And We don't, don't, you don't need to have your hand touching this. Your hand can be a little bit up, just a little bit up from the wheel. Because if you, if you don't do that, then it rub. Mm -hmm. All right, so imagine, I'm not going to even be touching that part of the clay. So, so the very, very bottom might not be centered. The very bottom, but the part I'm going to be dealing with. So step one, and once we get it centered, here's how you tell it's centered. You put your hands on it, and the clay's not moving. Okay. okay. Step two, open, I usually go in with two thumbs here, a little bit, and any time I go to the clay and come off of the clay, do it kind of gently, because it's possible if you get real excited and jerk off, you can get it off center. And if you get it off center, you can touch it right back. Okay, so we start there. I'm going to finish opening it, and here's where the needle comes in. Take the needle and put the dirty, the, the slip and just go like that, and you can see where it cleaned off. Right. So we've got a thickness. I'm going to go slightly more. I'm going to, you know, make it about that thick. If I misjudge and went boop, and it was like this little, I can take a little plug of clay at that point and put some in. Make it thicker. Yeah. So I'm going to go just a little bit more. And then I always, at the end of each step, I kind of double check that I've still kept it centered, which is simply taking this hand and pushing it. So that was step one and two. And like I said, a lot of people just get so excited at this point, they think, whoa, look, I threw a pot. But here's step three, and I want y'all to see where you can come so you can look inside. Now this is not making a bowl, this is like a pull one up. So we're gonna have our centering pan over here. I, I keep, um, I, want, I want this to be slipping. And if I put my hands there and it kind of catches, I put a little more water. Okay. Keeping it centered, our longest finger is going to go down and it's going to go across. And this is making a floor. This is the floor of the pot. It's mm -hmm. parallel to that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to. Um, I'm going to squeeze it in just a little bit. All right. Now on the step four, which is pulling up, this centering hand has always been here. Now the centering hand is going to go here, and this is where you pull up. So I'm showing y'all stuff. When you see a potter throw or you see a video, you see all this beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm showing it to you in step one, two, three, four, slow motion. 
so you can maybe catch on. All right, but anyway, so this hand now comes inside, and many students, including me, want to leave it over here to pull it up, but now it's grabbing against, you know, we, we wanted to be pushing against the fourth. Now we want it to slide through our fingers, and for it to slide. So we go down here. Here's basically the wall of the clay is in between there and these little tips of the fingers, whichever fingers work. And then the, the first pull. We don't squeeze a lot and when we get to the top. Wow. <laughs> they should have done it for a while. <laughs> yeah, I've done it for a while. Okay. And, and I'm keeping the thickness of this, really that first pull was to make it even. So it's, if I cut it with the wire now, it'd be about that thickness. But really, it stays thicker at the bottom. So I'm going to go down again, and I'm going to do probably two or three pulls to pull it up taller and then shape it. I'm going to go back down all the way to the bottom, and right down there, it's that thick. So I'm going to push in. I'm going to push some clay in down there. I'm going to grab it on the outside. And I, can you see I'm pulling that little ridge up? Mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. slowing my wheel down. When you center and open, you can let your wheel go fast. But when you pull, be gentle and make sure you're, you're you know, coming up at speed. Kind of cone it in after each pull. If it too early starts going out, then you won't be able to pull it up. Now, if, if later you want to pull it out, I'll show you you can. So I'm going to cone it back in into a... And realize I've got a bigger ball of clay. Y'all just y'all to be this small. I'm going to cone it back in. And I'm going to do one more one more pull. Pull it, getting that clay at the bottom. And this time I'm going to go ahead and purposely sort of give it a little belly. And then I'm going to go in here. And it's a th so we've done one, two, three, four, and then step five is to decide what your shape is. And this could be the shape. Far. So I'm just going to show you, see if you wanted to. You could give a little ridge or you could give it more belly. If you've not let it get wet. I mean, if you've not let it get too wet. Too wet. Mm -hmm. So there's throwing a pot.